What's up, y'all? DHR2. Please tell me this is not the official news. Michael Bay is going to be doing Bumblebee 2. A lot of elements. I don't know what that means at this point. But something tells me they're going to end up going back to, to the Michael Bay designs. That nobody wants. Because Bumblebee is already doing good. And it was already, you know, number one in the film industry. Thanks to Hasbro and Travis Knight, who did a phenomenal job on his designs. But when you try to put Michael Bay's design back into Bumblebee to create a two movie, I'm sorry, but I'm not all excited about it at all. So, I don't know, man. Let's just say, I don't know. I just don't know. I hope this is not true. If it is, I don't want nothing to do with it because Michael Bay is, he's a disease when it comes to the film industry. May I say more? Let's just get with the video. Is Hasbro on some heavy stuff? Like, <clears throat> should we like investigate these dudes? I mean, like, what are they putting into whatever you're smoking? And, like, pass someone out to like Joe Rogan. Like legit. What are you on? <clears throat> So it is true all along. I've already talked about the fact that they're like, look, we're going to do Bumblebee 2. And I'm like, yes. And they're like, we're going to do Transformers 6. No, <laughs> that's a terrible idea. But sure, you go kill the franchise a little further. That's That seems like what you want to do. And then they're like, let's one-up the stupidity. Why? Well, oh. <sighs> one, Bumblebee 2 is looking to add more base explosions and action oh god no all right let's take this let's take this back so let's my nightmares has come true after all the whole reason people really like bumblebee follow me along here is because it ditches the action and it makes the action revolve around an actually coherent plot right that thing that's important in a movie character development and a plot that actually naturally leads to action as opposed to the Bayformers, which are built around action, and the characters are literally used as pawns to get from action scene to action scene with nonsensical garbage storylines. You, you see the problem here? You cannot so, be serious. More action is an awful idea in every sense of the word. But then they come back and they're like, no, we're going to get even stupider. Don't you worry. It's like, how? Apparently, they want to add... Robo banging. What does that even mean? When I watch Transformers, I'm like, yo. Robot banging. That sounds like some sex stuff. Yeah. 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 I want to see like the Autobots do one of them like lines on Acer. Yeah, no, that's Michael Bay right there. That's great. Yeah, that's do that. Yeah, that's what I want. Robo banging. You know, out of all the history of Transformers, what I really want to explain to me is how do robots bang? Again, what does that even mean, robot banging? Somebody's getting paid legit money. Like, somebody's sitting in a room getting paid lots of money to come up with these ideas, and there's a room of people being like, that's good, that's good. Yeah, that's good. No, no, it's not. That's exactly what we wanted. The eighth movie in this series, we need robo banging. <laughs> yeah. Whoever yeah. came up with that word must be smoking on something. Isn't this why like Tumblr and DeviantArt exists? This is like that moment in The Simpsons where the dude's like, come up with a creative name like Poochie. And then the four dudes are just like, yo, Poochie sounds good. Yeah, all right. I don't think Bring you can make stuff up unless you're like, rigging a dictionary or something. Just when you think the Transformers franchise was going to get back on its feet. And we were all fooled. Thanks to Hasbro on their stupid decision. You're going to allow Michael Bay back into... This, the guy who ruined Transformers, 
what it comes what it comes to the designs, the story, and unrecognizable Autobots and Decepticons. How many times that how many you know movie companies, film companies don't even learn the lesson by having Michael Bay come back into the film industry and it's gonna flush it down the toilet, flush your childhood down the toilet and put his dumb idea.